We are so excited to be here today for our what we typically have our cooking class with Epicure. We're kind of shaking things up a little bit, and this is more like an Epic TV where you're going to start seeing more innovative, fun, special guests, and just things to help you every step of the way to understand the product and know Epicure better, cooking tips, all sorts of fun things. So we're kicking that off today with special guest Jennifer Danter who is the Director of Product Innovation here at Epicure, and she is incredible, and we're just so excited to be able to have her with us today to share with all of you. So with that being said, my name is Brittany Monk, and I am the Director of Consultant Experience and Programs here with Epicure, and I just want to turn the time over tonight to Jennifer to just share some of her thoughts with you, but before we do, Jennifer, do you mind just sharing with everyone a little bit more about you? For sure. Thanks, Britt. I have worked at Epicure for over 10 years in a whole bunch of different roles from recipe development to food styling to marketing to product development. Um, previous to that, I have a professional chef experience. I've worked in restaurants in Toronto for many years. I even worked in Italy. After that, I really dove into media. I was a food editor for two mainstream Canadian magazines, Canadian Living and Chatelaine, before I moved to the West Coast. And this is where sort of my life exploded with Epicure. Personal fun facts, I'm a cheese addict and a potato chip addict. I try to eat more vegetables and I've learned a lot about health and wellness just, just working with Epicure. That's me. Love it, Jen. It's so, we're just so lucky to have you on the team and we get so much from Jen. She is a wonderful mind that has helped us every step of the way. So. With that, I'm going to turn the time over to you, Jen, to share your thoughts and all the things that you're here to share with us today. Well, today I, I want to talk about the new products and this, the why behind how they were created. So just to keep it short, I'm going to cherry pick a few of my favorites. But if you want a fulsome look at the new season, check out the blog on upcare.com. So let's dive in. You'll notice a lot of the new products are about global flavors, new flavors. Why? I think there's a curiosity out there and a craving to try something new. Everybody wants to banish mealtime boredom. Social media teases us with flavors we haven't tried before, different ways of cooking. There's access to unfamiliar cultures. And this is our opportunity, our chance to have fun and apply all these new flavors to our regular mealtime. We can still use local ingredients. We can still use the culinary techniques we're familiar with, but let's have some fun with flavor. Love it. <laughs> I know you're a fan. And actually, um, I think this is pretty clever too. Like trying new things it can be really scary. So what we did is we really built out our wing seasoning line. The wing seasoning line is really approachable. You know, chicken is the gateway to try new flavors for new eaters. Everybody loves chicken and chicken can benefit from a little flavor improvement. But really, I think of wing seasonings as all-purpose seasonings. They're ideal for sheet pan meals, you know, you throw the seasoning on your favorite protein and a few veggies, toss it in the oven, do the steamer when it's really hot outside, like today. I have my fan, I don't have air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to turn on the oven. And I think I probably use this time to talk about the two new flavors I'm loving. There's Chinese Five Spice and Jerk Chicken Wing Seasoning. So if these names seem daunting to you, let me break it down for you. I want to reassure you, these are not hot and spicy, mouth-burning, firebombs. These are flavorful. They deliver big, rich, warm flavors. They're complex flavors because there's quite a few ingredients in the blend. And this is a really good way to wake up your food. Oh, it'll cool down. Yes. <laughs> Chinese five spice. It's kind of ironic that I'm talking about like waking up your food <laughs> in big mouth feels when I'm roasting in my one bedroom <laughs> here. Yes. <laughs> um, I think a good way to approach Chinese Spice Spice is if you like gingerbread, consider using this spice. Gingerbread, what we love about it, it has a big warm mouth feel. You know, you get those notes of ginger, there's clove, there's nutmegs, there's cinnamon, molasses, if that's the way you, you want to roll. Chinese Spice Spice can sort of catch on to that. So instead of the heat from ginger, you're pulling it from white pepper. And the clove gets all muddled with the mild licorice undertones from star anise and fennel. And what holds all the flavors together is that top note of cinnamon. 
So think of it that way. If you're like gingerbread, this might be for you in a savory application. Love that comparison. Love that. I'm going to make a fan of Five Spice out of you. Yes, <laughs> I'm already there. <laughs> um, it, you know, it says wing seasoning. Open your mind. Use it as a barbecue rub. This is fantastic on anything pork related, chicken, ribs. I love it on broccoli. I do grilled potato wedges. It truly is an all-purpose seasoning. Jerk cheese, jerk cheese. I have cheese on my brain. <laughs> jerk chicken seasoning is no different. I mean, Epicure shines here with the blending because this is what we do best. And we partnered with an Epicure customer, Nikita Scringer, to make the blend as authentic as possible. So fun fact, Nikita was a contestant on MasterChef Canada, so she really knows her stuff. I feel like pairing with her, it was just like dynamic duo from the start. The goal of this product is to introduce people to the world of Caribbean cooking, but with one easy blend. If jerk is unfamiliar to you, it can have, it can vary in heat levels. It's kind of a regional thing. People make it a little bit differently everywhere. But the thing that's in common, there's over 20 ingredients. So African version is flavorful, but it is not killer spicy. It is hotter than some other Epicure seasonings. I'd say it's the top range of medium heat. Again, you know, assessing your heat level, it's, it's, it's so personal, you know, but for me, I would put this at a medium heat. So the flavors you're gonna recognize here are allspice, cinnamon, there's cayenne in the blend, chilies, ginger, nutmeg, there's garlic, there's thyme. So it's a big bomb of herbs and spices. And then what's unique about this, it's tied together with a little bit of sweetness. And this really makes all the other ingredients in there sing. So we use organic coconut palm sugar. This cuts the spices with a little sweetness and it gives you a really balanced blend. The Love recipe. It. <laughs> I hope so. The you just have a way with words, Jen. I'm like envisioning this. It's amazing. <laughs> I'm getting all spicy under my collar. Yes, I get it. <laughs> um, so there, there is a recipe on the label for wings, and one jar will season 13 pounds of wings. So you really get good value here. But again, hot food is great for hot days. So don't turn your oven on. Use this as a barbecue BFF. Rub on chicken pieces. It is dynamite on fish and beef. It's great for skewers with lots of vegetables. Um, if you want to go meatless, uh, what are those? Uh, those portobello mushroom steaks. I love those. Oh, because, yeah. Yeah, like once you add some heat to it, they get all like juicy and saucy, and they're just ripe for soaking up all that flavor. It's like they're like yeah. flavor sponges. This is a dynamite blend with portobello mushrooms. And awesome. then one last barbecue hack I just want to share with you is if you mix equal parts blend with a red pepper jelly, you've just created the ultimate glaze. Toss anything hot off the grill, no matter what seasoning you've already put on it, even if it's just salt and pepper. And then you're going to finish your meal like a top chef. <laughs> I love you. Good tip. <laughs> and probably what's on everybody's mind right now are cheap eats. I mean, yes. I don't throw numbers out at anybody, but the cost of food, the cost of living is skyrocketing. This is, this is the new us. Like, how are we going to feed our families healthy, good food on a food budget that is shrinking? I mean, Epicure has always been there. Nothing has changed on our end. We just want to show you the value of the products. So we're going to get thrifty in the kitchen. And this season, what is so fun is we partnered with a college student, Dylan Brown, who's one of the son of our national directors, and we created a college cooking collection. The bonus here is you get a free meal plan. So the collection is made of five of our top selling meal solutions, beef and broccoli stir fry, crispy and crunchy lettuce wrap seasoning, mac and cheese, rotisserie chicken, sweet garlic chicken. If meal solutions are new to you, this is like the entry into Epicure. You get the meal solution, there's a recipe on the back, easy to grocery shop from, and you get a raw to ready meal in 20 minutes. You can customize the recipe. Like these are, these are the go-to when you don't want to think, you need dinner now, and you can probably cook from what's in your pantry. Easy, so, so relevant. Every, I know grocery shopping and cost of everything going up is on so many people's minds. So such a great tip there. Yeah, and the digital meal plan is free. Like even if you're just looking for ways to cut your budget, go to epigear.com, 
go to our, our, our recipe guides and check this out. There's so much valuable information there. There's helpful ticks, ticks, tips and tricks for grocery shopping smarter, how to stock your kitchen like with minimal streamlined tools, how to eat well on campus, you know, and guess what? Campus is where you live, whether you're a student or not. Yeah. So these are really time sensitive tools and tips available for you. Um, let me take a breath there. So kind of adding on to this, these new products are not part of the college cooking collection, but they're in the same vein. They're quick, they're easy, they're affordable to make, and they're full of flavor that you want. So we've introduced chicken souvlaki seasoning. It is a 20 minute sheet pan meal, and it makes a complete meal for $2.75 a serving. Follow the recipe on pack. Chicken is getting up there price wise. So if you have a little more time on your hands, swap in some bone-in chicken, chicken legs, bone-in chicken thighs. They take a little bit longer to cook, but if it helps your grocery budget, you got to give on one end, right? Convenience yeah. is to what we're speaking to now. And if convenience for you means price, swap in some less expensive ingredients. If convenience for you means time, follow the recipe on pack. Regardless of what, you're dishing up 275 is serving, and it's pretty amazing. Amazing. Love that. <laughs> we have a Cajun chicken stew. And I know it sounds hot and heavy and hearty for these, you know, super hot days, but this is an instant pot recipe. You're not heating up your kitchen, you're throwing it all in, you're setting in, you're forgetting it. it. It's brilliant. It makes 14 cups. So this is ideal for meal planning for when you want leftovers. And then here too, like I have budget on the brain. <laughs> I'm gonna look for what's on sale. So for speed, the recipe calls for boneless thighs. I made it, you know, with chicken legs. I've even made it with beef stewing cubes. Whatever is on sale, these seasonings are so adaptable. They're just so great. And lastly, carne guisada. So mm -hmm. I have stewing beef on the brain. This starts with stewing beef, which is, for me, the most affordable beef I can buy right now. Like steaks are gone. I get <laughs> make it in the Instant Pot. I can grab our saute pan, do a stovetop. And it makes eight servings. You're coming in about $2 a serving. Wow. This was new for me. I'm so proud of the team. They just like delivered on flavor. It's really mild and comforting. I know I think it's like a Southern, a Texas dish. So we're really like trying to dig into some regional dishes here. Um, but you can stretch your dollar here too. Like make it with ground beef. Serve it in tacos, stretch your dollar, add in some vegetables, you know, like the customization piece is, is what makes these amazing. Love it. And I love how you're giving ideas to substitute and switch depending on what is important to you. And do you want to cut on time or cut on your grocery bill? Like these can mix and match and be customized. So thank you for bringing those points up too. It's such a good reminder. Yeah. Um, I guess lastly, I want to talk about the value of our fall pantry products. So don't let the name fool you, because these are really all-purpose herbs and spices. They're single ingredient ones that you should have in your pantry at any given time. So before I dive into the products, I want to acknowledge that at Epicure, we are really good about sharing what's not in our products. We're gluten-free, we're nut-free, we're free of corn syrup and hydrogenated fat, we're free from artificial colors, sweeteners, and preservatives. We are sugar and sodium conscious. If you haven't seen our Never Ever list, check it out. We, we don't have any junk or any fillers in our products. One second. Thanks. It's a lot. It's a long, it's a long list of what we don't have. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, yeah. But what we haven't talked about in detail is that we are made of good stuff, quality ingredients. We source the best for flavor through the lens of integrity. So as much as ever here is about good food, we're equally about good people. Health and wellness is a broad brush that paints products, recipes, consultants, customers, ingredients, and our suppliers too. We work with a variety of vendors. Two of them are family-owned companies, just like Epicure. Our sourcing and QA team ensures that our raw ingredients bought from vendors are manufactured and regularly tested and aligned with the US Drug and Cosmetic Act and the Canadian Food and Drugs Act. Our suppliers must provide certification for safety, ethical workplace protocols, and environmental stewardship. So we source our herbs and spices and ingredients from around the world, and we work with different vendors. 
before we agree to buy anything, we get to know who our suppliers are and why they believe in their ingredients. I mean, the why behind anything you do, you know, from eating to selling to living, it's so important to know your why, right? So in our conversations, we address things like food safety, quality assurance compliance for personnel. Do they have documented training programs, health and safety? What are the PPE requirements? How do they treat their staff? What certifications are in place? We talk about the buildings and grounds. What's the workflow environment like? Is the traffic in the plant controlled? Safety maintenance of the site. It's so detailed. We even ask if the paint on the walls is flaking. We talk about drains, pest control, sanitation practices, equipment design and maintenance, manufacturing controls, allergen checklist. I mean, you can't imagine how important this is to us. We grill our suppliers to make sure they are aligned with what we're talking about. We ask about their QA departments and what quality assurance practices they have in place. We ask about their purchasing practices. We talk about sustainability practice. I mean, do they invest in community development activities and the markets they source from? Epicare is about giving back and giving, and we want to align ourselves with people who are similar to what we hold as our integrity bar. So there's the context of quality and integrity. And now I want to talk about flavor. <laughs> back to the pantry staples, right? So we've introduced a few single ingredient herbs and spices, and I'm just going to share um, a quick lowdown of why these are the best, because these are premium ingredients. The price reflects that. You have options to go buy from otherwhere, but I want you to know and understand why you're getting the best. So our ginger. We source from Indonesia and Nigeria. For us, these suppliers' ingredients bring the flavor. If you're familiar with Epicure, you'll know we use, a, we use ginger in a lot of our products. So we move through the inventory. What does this mean to you? You're getting the fresh stuff, the good stuff. Product has not sat around, it is full of flavor. Open the jar and just take a sniff. You'll notice it has an assertive, spicy aroma. It, it should feel awake. So why the small, small jar size? Because you wanna use this within six months. Any ground spice loses its flavor once it's ground. So consume it, use it within six months. And a fun health tip, please use it in your cooking. Ginger is an immune supportive source of antioxidants. So it may help reduce nausea and indigestion too. Anybody on the road this summer? Brittany, you taking a road trip? Yeah, yes, many, yeah. <laughs> well, I rely on a ginger fuel smoothie when I hop in the car at the start of my road trips. It just oh, it helps settle. So start the day off with something frosty and gingery. Love it. We are offering oregano, a leaf oregano, not ground. So this is like a big meaty leaf. We source from <clears throat> Turkey and Greece. One second. Thanks. Greek oregano from the Mediterranean region is called the true oregano. And it has a very different flavor than what's grown here in North America. Epicure chooses this one because Greek oregano is the most savory. It's earthy, it's pungent. I mean, some really call it out as peppery. And you can tell it's related to the mint family because it has that refreshing, cool menthol flavor. It just lingers on the finish. And that is so pleasing to any dish. So you'll wanna add this to marinades, tomato sauces, sprinkle over pizza, grilled meats when they're off the grill. Anytime you wanna develop, develop, deliver a strong flavor. We have rosemary, and our rosemary is sourced from Morocco in Egypt. They're great growing conditions. It's a superior product. Rosemary has an aromatic, a sweet, nutty, and piney flavor. Um, that piney flavor really gets heightened in the dried, so you definitely want to use it sparingly in your cooking. Um, what makes Epicure's version so unique is we actually use the big leaves. We don't use like the broken down bits that are left over at the end. These are nice big pieces. I mean, take out the jar and look at them, compare it to what you're gonna buy in the star, and the, the size tells it all. So why is this important? Because crumbled leaves lose their flavor and aroma faster. So when I use Epicure rosemary in my cooking, I crumble up the large pieces, and this releases the flavor into the food. And again, the win here is inventory. We use rosemary in so many of our blends, so what you're getting is, kind of feels like an oxymoron, but the freshest dried rosemary. 
we are offering cumin. And this one is ground. Uh, I prefer ground to the seeds because it's an instant flavor release. So as I said, once ground, you've got to use it up quickly. But for me, this is a major pantry staple, like both at home and at work. At work, we use it in, I'm gonna probably say 70% of our blends because cumin delivers that earthy, warm, it's slightly citrusy edge to anything that you're cooking. It really, it's in a lot of our blends because it just picks up the flavor of everything and delivers that, that wow factor. Um, yeah, when in doubt, I add a pinch of cumin and it just heightens everything else I'm cooking. The health and wellness lens, I know some studies have suggested that when consumed alongside or, you know, like eating with a healthy overall diet, it supports digestive health. This is new learning for me, and I got to dig into it and use our team a bit better to really sing its health and wellness benefits. Our time is a kitchen workhorse. We source it from France and Egypt, and much like the rosemary, the difference, our quality difference is we use leaves. Cheaper brands are a mix of leaves and stems. Sometimes when you get that bitter woody texture from dried rosemary, it's because there's a lot of stem in there. And that has a lot of tannins that kind of fill your mouth with that, you know, bitter feeling. Ours is mostly leaves. I mean, stem's always gonna get in there, but the quality of who we buy from is leaf quality. And lastly, turmeric. Turmeric, the country of origin is India. And this is where most of the world's turmeric is growing. So why is turmeric a pantry staple? Because it is so versatile. I mean, anybody who cooks from scratch, it, it's like a must have in curries. I use it to make steamed golden rice, roast grilled vegetables. You know, I because of its health benefits, we add it to everything from protein bars. I know some people try to whisk it into their orange juice, steep it with herbal mm -hmm. tea. You can froth it with your milk for lattes. It is the ingredient of the moment because it also adds natural color to food. And there are so many health benefits. You add black pepper, to, well, you eat turmeric with black pepper to increase the cur curcumin absorption. <laughs> that's the active compound in turmeric that's said to support heart health and reduce inflammation. We know it's high in antioxidants. It has anti-inflammatory compounds. These are potential benefits in cancer prevention, but not there's not enough research to really make a, st a strong claim here for this. According to the Arthritis Foundation, curcumin found in turmeric may help reduce and prevent swelling and joint pain. It's been found to lower the bad cholesterol, LDL, and shown to help decrease plaque buildup. Plaque buildup. And these are all studies linked to heart health benefits. That was a mouthful, Brittany. I did not let you get a word in edgewise. Uh, no, I am just soaking it all up. I just think it's incredible to learn all these interesting facts and the background behind the products. And, you know, this is really neat to hear the stories and how we're different. And I love how you shared, yes, we do talk a lot about what we don't have, but look at what we do have too. And it's really amazing. Like we don't have the junk, but we have so much good. And so it's really, really neat to see that and hear the stories. It, it, I love it. I, you could go on and on. <laughs> well, that's good. I'm glad I piqued your interest. Um, just for anybody out there listening, if you liked what you heard today, invest in your health and wellness, streamline your time in the kitchen, and have more fun with your food. This season just offers so much. So one thing that I'm loving right now is the Taste the Season collection because it showcases pretty much everything I talked about today, plus a little bit more. So... I'm just, I'm just so grateful to the product development team that has brought these blends out. This season, we also did some community development with our consultants. They had great ideas. They helped us develop products. Um, the collaboration and the creativity and the flavor, it's just, everything came together. Yes, absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Jennifer. And for those of you who have enjoyed what you've heard today, let us know in the comments, because like we said at the beginning, this is like our new Epic TV where you can hear some behind the scenes, or would you like to hear more cooking tips or let us know. We want this time to be for you and what would be beneficial for you. This was so beneficial. Even to me, I'm like, I need to take notes here. This is awesome to learn more about the product. So thank you so much, Jen, for you and your team all that you pour into these amazing products and recipes. And it's just really special to see the behind the scenes of what goes into all of this. So thank you so much for spending your time with us today. 
Thank you. Take care, everybody. All right, everyone. Have a great night. Bye-bye.